You may be asked to submit your written work using a tool called Turnitin. Turnitin is a text matching tool that helps you check whether you've correctly referenced all quotations in your work. Your tutor will tell you where you can find the Turnitin submission box in your course or unit in MyUCA. In this example, the Turnitin box has been created in the Assessment folder, but this folder could also be called Submit Your Work Here or Turnitin. Click on the folder and you'll see that in this example, the tutor has included some helpful links about how to use Turnitin. Below this, you can see the submission box where you can upload your work, and you'll also see any instructions that your tutor has added. When you've read the instructions, click View Complete to begin uploading your work. On the next screen, you'll see some key information about the assignment. The start date shows the date and time after which you can upload your work. The due date indicates the deadline for the assignment, and you should make a note of this because you won't be able to submit your work after this deadline. Finally, if your tutor is marking your work using Turnitin, then the post date indicates the date after which your feedback will be available. When you're ready to submit your work, click the Submit button. On the next screen, you should see that your first and last name have already been filled in, so all you have to do is type the name of your essay or project in the Submission Title box. Turnitin accepts most common file types, including Microsoft Word, PowerPoint and PDF. If you want to check whether your file type is accepted, just click on What can I submit? It's also worth noting at this point that the maximum file size you can upload is 20 megabytes. Any document larger than 20 meg will need to be optimised, and if you're not sure how to do this, just speak to one of the library IT staff. Click Choose from this computer and locate your work. If you accidentally choose the wrong file, you can just use the Clear File button to remove the document. When you're ready, click Upload and you should see a spinning circle indicating that your work is uploading. Now it's really important to note that if the screen doesn't change after about two minutes, you'll need to reduce your browser's privacy settings to allow it to accept cookies and then try again. If you're not sure how to do this, please ask a member of the library staff. Once your file has uploaded, you will see a summary on the left, including your name, the assignment title and the word count. You'll also see a preview of your file on the right, and you can use the arrows above the preview to browse through your document. And again, if you can't see this, you'll need to adjust your browser's privacy settings. If you're happy with everything, click Confirm to submit your work. Once your work has been submitted, you'll see a message from Turnitin, and at the bottom of the page you can see the exact date and time the paper was received. Below this is the submission ID. Please make a note of this, as if there are any problems with your submission, this number will enable us to find it. Click Return to Assignment List, and you should see the overall percentage of matched text that Turnitin has detected in your document. Please note that it can take up to five minutes for Turnitin to run your document through the database, so don't panic if you just see the word processing. Click the home icon in the top left to go back to the unit homepage, then go back into the folder containing the Turnitin assignment and click view complete under the relevant box. Once the percentage appears, click view to open your submission. And when your assignment appears on the screen, Use the Originality button in the top left to view any matched text that Turnitin has detected. You can now use the Originality report to help you improve your essay by adding references and paraphrasing text when necessary. If you need to print off a copy of your Originality report, make sure the Originality button is highlighted red, then click the Print icon in the bottom left of the screen and choose Download PDF of Current View for Printing. You can also use this icon to print off a copy of your digital receipt to prove that you have submitted your work. And that's about it. Once you've made a note of your submission ID, you have successfully submitted your work and you can log out of MyUCA. You will also receive an email to your MyUCA email account to confirm that your work has been received. If you have any questions about using Turnitin, please go to your campus library and ask a member of the team to help you.